Hey, hey, this is Jara, the creator of Unfertilized Eggs. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. We are currently on day eight of featuring 30 stories that's in, in the 90 Day Journal for Child Free Women that's featured on the website unfertilizedeggs.com. And here is the journal here for you to take a look at it. It features 90 stories, motivational stories, affirmations, uh, self-love letter for you to write to yourself. There are daily um, gratitude prompts as well. There's some celebrity stories in here. I won't spill all the tea that's um, featured in this journal, hence why I'm only featuring 30 of the 90 days. Um, but for the rest, you're gonna have to purchase for yourself so you can you know, be inspired um, on your journey to you know, being more confident in your child-free choice. Or if you're already there, this gives you that further, that, that further push or um, further, I guess, affirmation that you need to let you know that you're on the right track to making the choice that's best for your life, um, the child-free choice. All right, so today we're gonna talk about something that's featured on day three, where it says, your uterus, your choice. Again, your uterus, your choice. And today's quote says, if it's not your body, it's not your decision. And that quote is from an unknown author. So let's get into it. Don't you wish that people would just mind their own uterus? I mean, what does your choice to remain child free have to do with them? I get it. Children are a blessing and they bring a lot of joy to others' lives. No one is arguing with that fact. However, being a mother is not for everyone. Plus, there are other ways to find joy in life that doesn't even involve motherhood. Some of us enjoy being aunts godmothers and older cousins or siblings additionally the mere thought of the pain associated with being pregnant the contractions weight gain throwing up etc is probably enough for you to say no thanks at least that's how it goes with me what you choose to do with your uterus is your choice and yours alone Never allow others to make you feel bad for not wanting to have children. And that's the end. Short, sweet, simple, to the point. Um, gives a lot of great, you know, um, advice and confirmation for you if you need it. Um, what I want to touch on is the, the topic that, you know, it says your uterus, your choice. And if you've been watching um, my videos more consistently, you saw last month that I wore this shirt that said, mind your own uterus. And um, that was a shirt that I created just randomly and it will be available available on the website soon later on this year. But you're gonna have to join the email list to be the first to know when, when those shirts are um, available on the site for purchase. But, um, you know, I'm saying all this to say that so many people, you know, whether they're mothers or just random people, I've had like strangers <laughs> that, you know, first meet me and, you know, spark a conversation. They ask me, do I have any children? I tell them no. And they, you know, kind of look at me a certain type of way, like, oh, you must not like children or say things like, oh, um, you know, you might want to get on that. But no, I know myself. Um, and it's just interesting how some people will turn your life choices into like a personal attack on them, right? Like, like by me saying that I don't want children, it's not saying that, you know, I don't like children. And, um, you know, if you're watching this video and you don't like children, that's your business, you know, do you to each their own. But in my case, I do like children, especially when they're well behaved and over the age of four, because <laughs> I ain't changing nobody's diapers, not birthing or not trying to figure out what's wrong, all that crying and stuff is mm -mm, not for me. But um, yeah, it's just interesting how people will just turn your life choices into a personal attack on them. Like you're saying that, you know, that there's something wrong with them because they choose to be a mother when it's really like, you know, to stay in your lane, do what works for you. If motherhood is what you want to do, then fine, whatever, be a mother, get pregnant, etc. But for me, I choose, you know, don't choose that life. And you're, you know, you're probably watching this video right now and you're probably in the same boat and that's just fine. So you can feel inclined to tell people to mind their own uterus and wear the shirt proudly when it is available on the website. But um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about 
that and um, the journal of course it features question uh, questions per day for you to reflect on and then there's a daily affirmation and then a gratitude prompt as well so I'm just gonna read the question and if you feel inclined to do so um, leave a comment below below to answer this question so who attempts to make you feel bad for your choice not to have children and how do you cope with that for me it was an uncle <laughs> So annoying when I would go over there, you know, with the family, have family functions, um, and there'll be a baby there, whether it's a cousin or um, just a random baby there. He'll try to bring the baby over to me, have me hold it, and knowing good and well that that's not what I want to do. I'm not a baby person, you know. Um, I just don't feel comfortable around them. They're too like wobbly, and I don't. I mean, that's just, it's just not my thing, you know. Whatever. So yeah, he would bring the baby around and just try to intentionally get on my nerves until I had to tell him one day, like I had to just be firm and be like, stop doing this. Like it's annoying. Grow up, basically. You damn near 50 or over 50 years old and you're still playing around trying to be funny, knowing good and well, I don't want to hold this baby. So yeah, I just had to vent a little bit, excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, I want you to answer that question as well. So you can try to, you know, hopefully vent too and get it off your chest. So again, who attempts to make you who attempts to make you feel bad for not wanting to have children and how you cope with it. So for me, I just kind of you know, tell it like it is. But now I don't get people um that try to make me feel bad. These days they're just like, okay, especially here living in Arizona, people are more like I guess free-spirited and open-minded. But uh coming from the south, I used to live in Georgia. Um yeah, I, I get a lot of opposition and, you know, side eyes and people just undermining my decision and saying things like dismissive things like, oh, you're going to, you know, you're going to change your mind one day. Just give it some time. It's just a phase you're going through. No, honey, it's not. <laughs> it is not a phase. Okay. This is my intentional life choice that works best for me. All right. So with that said, that concludes the video. I hope you liked today's uh, journal prompt. Um, please purchase the journal from the website, 90 Day Journal. I mean, the website is unfertilizedeggs.com. This is a 90 Day Journal for Child Free Women. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? What's wrong with you? <laughs> um, hit the subscribe button so you can be informed of the future videos that will come out. And I will see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.